But I'm entitled to my privacy, even yeah. at the cost of speculation, because what other people think of me really, it really is none of my business, and it has nothing to do with my real life. What, whatever people say, whether it be good or bad, it's almost all untrue, because I don't give interviews, only a few. Lana Del Rey, <laughs> thank you very much for taking a bit of time out to chat to me today. Very nice to meet you. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. And it's, it seems that you've been thrust upon us in a very short time span, and many people may not have had time to find out more about you. Mm. So your background is growing up in New York State, attending boarding school, attending open mic nights in New York, seeing the video to Nirvana's Heart Shaped Box, mm. putting the song video games on YouTube, and then everything went ballistic. Roughly <laughs> correct, or you want to fill in the gaps for me? I would say that those, those facts are true, yes. But meet it up a bit for me. Was well, it, was it God, that where simple? do I begin, yeah. really? I mean, where, where do I begin? I mean, I... <clears throat> I was born in Manhattan, and then I moved to the country when I was young, and then um, moved back to Manhattan, to New York City, when I was 18. Um, started going to open mic nights. Always loved writing and singing. I was in college, studying philosophy, doing other things, and also writing music just for fun. Well, let's start with video <laughs> games then, because that right. was like the catalyst to your success. Mm. Um, you put it on YouTube, so it's your favorite song. It makes you cry. Is that because of who it's about? Well, I mean, oh, gosh, I mean, sometimes, I mean, sometimes, you know, like when I was singing it alone at first, it was sort of near and dear to my heart and very personal, you know, five minute and 30 second love song. But um, it made me upset because when I was writing it, I was sort of reflecting back on a time when I was really um, happy. And I guess I sort of wished I was there again. Yeah. Is is Born to Die, the current single, is that about the same person? It too? is, yeah. If it's about anything, I suppose, it's co it's sort of about that. Okay, let's. I just want to quickly talk about the videos as well, because right. you describe your videos as like moving collages. Mm, yeah. Um, do you have the images for the videos in your head when you're writing the song? I do. Oh, not when I'm writing, but afterwards when I am sort of like driving home or taking a train. I start to see things in my mind that I'd like to play against the song but they don't really make sense i've never really had a strong narrative sense but visually i have um, images of things that i know i'd like to see like when i wrote blue jeans and then produced it i knew that at like a certain point i wanted a wild stallion sort of like bucking in the like golden light of the sun i didn't know why but i wanted that vision juxtaposed with the melody going back to to born to die the video to that right um it's uh, it, firstly where was it filmed because it's a beautiful setting when you're sitting on that it's throne. beautiful it was filmed outside of paris in la fontainebleau and it was a, in a castle that's actually never been filmed in before wow. but because my director was yoan lemoyne um he is really well respected and responsible and parisian and so the groundsman said you know you know they let us film there we had mm. a big crew because <clears throat> if anybody hasn't seen the video you're you're sitting on this like throne in this fantastic building uh, with am. two tigers either side of you and True. i presume that's superimposed afterwards or what? uh yeah well i was sitting on the throne and filmed first and then i left the room and then the tiger came in and was filmed next to the throne did you get to meet him I did, but o only over the fence, because we learned that tigers and women don't mix well. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, if you're in the same room as a tiger and you're a girl, she'll try and eat you. No. It's true. Even if it's a female tiger, she eats. I mean, t yeah, tigers and women particularly that, don't that, mix. That, tigers that and men are well, different. Especially towards <laughs> the end. And I also wanted to uh, to mention with, with, the, with the gore. The recent photo shoot you did for Q magazine as well, <laughs> yeah. Um, which again, if nobody's seen it, is there, you know, it's pictures of you with uh, with I don't know blood coming down your face. It's, it's very sissy Spacek at the end uh, in Carrie, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> it was very Carrie inspired, but I'm sort of in a blood world lately. Right, great for the morning show. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> nice happy way to wake up. Good morning. <laughs> Well, let's let's lighten the mood then. <laughs> so I read yesterday that our Prime Minister David Cameron has said that you're his favourite new singer, yeah, and that your songs are starting to, and I quote, infect his iPod. Ah, well, I'm honoured, really. Mm. Um, I'm honoured when anyone says that they listen to the music at all for a writer and a singer. You know, it's hard to sort of be listened and to and noticed. So, thank you. Do you have any other um, famous fans as well that? Uh, 
Mm. have expressed an interest in what you do and like what you do? Not that I know of, really. Um, not that I can think of off the top of my head. But I do have pretty great and um, devoted fans that I sort of talk to. <laughs> so where are you based these days? Is it London or New York? It's kind of in both places. When I when I can go home, I really just stay with my friends in Brooklyn because I kind of <sighs> left my house a little while ago. And, um, and when I stay here, I just stay at like a hotel. But I come back and forth. It is really... I've become... <sighs> I've really been in Europe and been in been in London a lot the last two years. So. And, and with all this promotion for the new album, Born to Die, I mean, is, do you do you enjoy all that aspect, or would you find it as a bit of an occupational hazard? Mm, it depends on the day, you know. Like in terms of like me talking to you now, I I like that kind of a thing. But some of the other things that come along with promotion aren't really, uh, you know, up my alley. Especially in general, when you're sort of an introvert, promoting yourself seems sort of stupid and unnatural. But you do meet interesting people along the way, and that's a gift. Would you des- describe yourself as an introvert then? Uh, yeah. In general, not an introvert, but I'd say that I usually keep most of my personal life to myself yeah. as, you know, I mean, it just only seems right. But that, I mean, keeping it to yourself, that that in, encourages all that speculation you get on internet and on YouTube and stuff like that. And I was reading some of the stuff and some people have not been nice to you. Yeah, but I'm entitled to my privacy even yeah. at the cost of speculation because what other people think of me really... It really is none of my business, and it has nothing to do with my real life. What, whatever people say, whether it be good or bad, it's almost all untrue because I don't give interviews, only a few. <clears throat> and have you learnt then to cope with the bad stuff? That's I mean, did you read reviews on, on no, your music? No, and I don't have to really cope because I really, <clears throat> it really is not too important to me. I mean, it depends. It depends on the day and what I hear, but in general. I mean, if I lived my life by what other people thought of me, I'd mm. really, I'd be on a real roller coaster, you know, because people's opinions change and the pendulum swings from people thinking that you're a genius to being a total idiot. Okay, let me see. If I had to describe you then um, to somebody who didn't know what you were, what your sound was like or what you looked like or whatever, um, I'd say enigmatic, Jessica Rabbit, Ooh. eerie, cinematic, 50s B-movie set, movie actress, <laughs> Like Samantha from TV's Bewitched, but not as wholesome. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to recover from that description. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I think that I'm flattered, but I don't know if I should be. <laughs> no, be flattered. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> In a strange way. Well, what can I say? Jessica Rabbit. Fantastic! One of the most beautiful women on in on celluloid ever. You're right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Minus some of the curves. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. Let's let's finish up then. Are you right. going to be touring? I mean, there are festivals in the UK and throughout Europe in the summer. You're going to be uh, doing all, a few festivals and a tour to back up Born to Die. That's a good question. Um. I don't really have a tour planned. I'm going to Japan. I'm going to Australia. Uh. But just for one small show in each territory and. In terms of like a U.S. tour, I don't have one planned. I don't think I'm doing one because I'm tired. For f- festivals, I kind of have to decide. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> well, there's plenty of them over here throughout the whole. Yeah, of the I summer. know. I know. I've never been to one actually. Oh, you should go. Yeah. The I'd Isle like of Wight Festival is is our, our, the one nearest to us, and yeah, it's fantastic. I'd, I'd like to do that. Springsteen's headlining. Really? Yeah. Jeez, he's really out there. He's also going to yeah. South by Southwest. Well, listen, I wish you all the best Thank with you. Born to Die. Thank um, you. And with the single and with the album as well. I appreciate that. Lana Del Rey, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you.